Before we get on with the redstone tutorial, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like the video, and ring the bell. Please, it helps out so much. On on that note, we're, let's start on with the tutorial where we show you how to use redstone repeaters in your contraptions and how to understand redstone locking repeaters specifically. So, let's crack on. Anyway, one thing that repeaters do, and this is po possibly the most common use of them, is if there's redstone going like this, normally the signal would be at a strength of 11. But because it's going through a repeater, it's now at a redstone strength of 15. The second most common use of the repeater is the delay. Its default setting is one tick of delay, but you can do it to two ticks, three ticks, or four ticks. And this delays the time that it powers or unpowers. Now, that is the main thing that a repeater does. Although, one quick note. You need to know, be able to know the difference between soft powering and hard powering. For example, most redstone dust um, is soft powered. For example, right here, if you extended this by one and then put a redstone block right there, this redstone will not power no matter what. However, it hard powers this block right here and therefore when you put oh whoops <laughs> whoops um what was i saying i forgot oh right hard powering soft powering redstone dust normally does not hard power stuff on rare occasions it does however the the difference between hard powering and soft powering is soft powering means that you basically can uh power any redstone contraption such as a piston if I were to set up a piston right here, this would be soft powering right here. And you cannot hard power a piston anyway. But right now, but here's the problem. If you put this right here and this right here, wait a minute. Oh, right. right. Because it's a 15 pulse, this powers because it's hard powering this block. Right, I forgot to mention that. Uh, Let's move this one block away. Um, but is quasi-connectivity a thing nowadays? I am so confused. But the, you know what? Screw it. We're going to Spencer. Yeah, I am completely forgetting quasi-connectivity. But here's the thing. Um, maybe these aren't... <laughs> I completely forgot about quasi connectivity, but here's the problem. It cannot. This is soft powering. This would power something like a dispenser, but cannot power redstone dust. Repeaters, on the other hand, oh, are you kidding me, uh, power this block. This is a hard powered block, which means it powers this redstone, which is soft powered. Does that make sense? Uh, Repeaters, hard power blocks, as do comparators, which I forgot to mention in my other video. Observers, also hard power blocks. Um, the m most complicated use of redstone repeaters, however, is the locking of redstone repeaters. If a repeater goes into a repeater into another repeater side, it remains locked. So even though this right here is powering this, it doesn't know it. And as proof, right there. However, once you press this, it knows that it's being powered. However, if you do this, then it thinks it's still being powered even though it's not. Now, there aren't too many use uses for this. The most common one, let's see if I can find it, is a T flip-flop. Considering T flip-flops are quite hard to make in Bedrock Edition, it's because of Pistons not spitting their block out when powered by one tick pulse. Locking repeaters do the job for you. So you press this button. This re repeater stop. Okay, this is kind of hard to show you because it happens so quickly. But basically, you press this button. This stops powering this repeater, and because it's in uh, on formation and the output is off, if you put this, you press this button, this would stop powering this, which would realize that it's not powered anymore, but it takes a little bit of delay, so 
this stops firing this, and then this starts powering, and this takes four ticks, and then the ten tick uh, redstone stone button that starts powering this block before it realizes that this is actually powering it, and then it, so that whatever state it's in, stays in, and it just changes it. I hope that made sense for you. That's ba okay. That is uh, redstone repeaters and locking repeaters in a nutshell. I do hope that you enjoyed this redstone video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys all so much for watching. This has been Doc Aaron, and I'm out. See you all.